and welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. It's been a year since I've been doing these videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And what better way to celebrate a one year anniversary? I'm going to go shoot a video at the fire hall. I retired from the City of Burlington Fire Department three and a half years ago. I've been invited to go back, do a video, have a meal with the crew. I'm so looking forward to it. And we're gonna have Philly steak and cheese sandwiches. I'm gonna slow roast some beef. They're gonna be so good. Let's get to it. So Philly steak and cheese sandwiches have been around since the 30s. Apparently a hot dog vendor invented them. I found these beautiful sirloin roasts, triple A grade. They were on sale. They're gonna be perfect. I'm going to slow roast them. That's the key. 225 degrees. Slow roast them so they're nice and tender. We'll cut them thin. But to start off, let's season them. Generous amount of salt. Pepper. and garlic powder. Now I'm going to take these over to my cast iron pan. I'll season the other side as well. Then I'll take them over to my cast iron pan and we'll give them a good sear. Then we slow roast them. So in a hot cast iron pan, I have a little bit of vegetable oil and then we'll just begin to sear all the sides of both roasts. My sirloin roasts are all nicely seared up. I got a roasting pan and into that I'm going to put some rough cut onions, about a half an onion, and then three cloves of garlic, just peeled and smashed. And we're going to get our grate, top of our roasting pan, and we're going to put in eight ounces of beer. You want to maintain this throughout cooking because at the end this is going to make a beautiful au jus, a nice dipping juice. Get a roast on. Now here's the key. We're cooking this at 225. You could put this in an oven at 375, 350, be done in an hour. However, slow roasting not only helps keep the meat tender, but you get a consistent pink throat. I'm going to cook this to air. When I take it out and wrap it in tin foil and a tea towel, it will go up to a nice medium rare. But rather than just having a little portion in the center of medium rare, slow roasting will give you a more even pink throughout the meat. Into the oven. 225 and this is the way to go an internal thermometer you can't beat it it's foolproof in the center I'm going to take it out at 143 degrees I just know that that's the way I like it 140 is rare 143 it'll move up to a medium rare while it's resting into the oven it goes well for the next gravy train and easy. So right out of the oven, right into some tin foil. And we're gonna wrap these all up nice and snug. I want these to cool down slowly. A little blankie for it. These will sit out for 45 minutes into the fridge after that. 
And then tomorrow morning, I'll slice them up and take them into the fire hall and we'll make our sandwiches. And all that nice juice in here, I'll put that in a blender, add a little beef stock, and it'll be a beautiful au jus for dipping. Welcome to the Burlington Fire Department, station number six. I'm so excited to be here today. I'd like to introduce to you Chief Lazenby, the captain of the fire hall here, Dan Vandalilly, Ryan, Jeff, and JF. Chief, for the viewers out there that aren't familiar with the city of Burlington, can you give an idea of the location and some of the challenges that we have here? Yeah, so Burlington's in Ontario, Canada. It's part of the Greater Toronto area. It's uh, on the northwest corner of Lake Ontario, one of the North America's Great Lakes. Beautiful part of the country to live in, but equally from a fire and rescue perspective, it presents a number of challenges. Obviously, we've got a great body of water, which presents a, a variety of uh, water-based rescue situations. To the north, we have the Niagara Escarpment, which um, numerous times a year we're called out to, um, you know, extricate people who've fallen off trails and things like that, rope rescues and so on and so forth. And we also have uh, two major highways and the highways in the Greater Toronto area are known for being probably the busiest in North America. So we have uh, numerous extrications that we attend during the course of the year and fortunately we have a very skilled workforce who are capable of taking on all those challenges. And Dan here, who's not only the captain at Station 6, but Dan is also the president of the Burlington Firefighters Local 1552. Now, the Burlington Firefighters here, Dan, as I know from working here for many years, donate a lot of their time and energy in helping people not only on the job, but off the job as well. What are some of the things that the association are working at at the moment? Nelson Youth Center is one of the groups that we've uh, spent quite a bit of time with over the last year. The big thing right now is, well, you've got a little bit of a stash going. Um, we're focused on our Movember, our Movember charity. Uh, we have a, a charity hockey tournament coming up in the coming months. The Chief and myself and our, both our groups have partnered together is with the gift of giving back. And that is a charity here in the community of Burlington um, that collects food for those that are less fortunate throughout the holiday season. And this year, with, uh, really this has been driven by some of our hockey teams in the community. Um, they're gonna raise over 500,000 pounds of food um, in the coming weeks. Um, and we are going to assist them as a, as a local in, uh, with a charity event on February the 28th of 19. Um, it's gonna be a Top Chef Firehouse um, theme. So. Look for that. I'm sure, t Pete, maybe you can tweet some of that out for us. And uh, For sure. I think I've entered a recipe for that. Very well. So, Dan, for the gift of giving back, where would the folks go if they'd like to donate? One of the, well, the easiest places to stop by, Pete, would be uh, any one of your local fire halls. Perfect. Well, I may not be able to go out on the emergency calls, but I can do the next best thing. I can cook with the crew. Let's get cooking. It's time to build the Philly steak and cheese sandwiches, and we're also having with it Ryan's homemade Caesar. You'll be able to find that recipe, as with all my recipes, at the bottom of each video. Ryan, can you tell me anything about this secret homemade Caesar dressing that I hear the guys love here? Thick cut bacon with the dressing, just ingredients in the blender, garlic, olive oil, vinegar, eggs, and some Parmesan. Your choice if you'd like the flaked or if you'd like the block of Parmesan. Sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it out. And I have my beef here that I slow roasted last night. As you can see, I put it through my slicer and it all came out beautifully nice and pink. And to that, I'm gonna add a spoonful of my au jus. That'll just keep it all nice and moist in there while we're warming it up. In the oven, we'll cover it up and we'll just warm that up 
at about 250 degrees. And JF is getting our ciabatta buns ready. He's laying them with provolone cheese on both sides. And to that down here, Jeff has got the beautiful veg all sliced up, bell peppers, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, sliced up onions, a bit of garlic, a bit of olive oil, and then we'll top that with a couple tablespoons of steak sauce. We'll saute that just to soften it up, mold all those flavors together, and then we'll build our sandwiches. Well, we're all ready to build the Philly steak sandwiches, JF. We got the buns fresh out of the oven. The boys were giving him the gears, telling him not to burn them. He did a fine job. So it brings up a good point. So seeing where we are, yes. we talk about burning buns. Burning I buns. Said, how about we just tell your, your viewers that it's important to check your smoke detectors on a regular basis. We just moved our clocks back. Um, that was the appropriate time to change the batteries. And not only that, let's practice a home fire escape plan on a regular basis. Great idea. Good thought, Dan. Okay, let's build these things. So we're going to put a generous amount of our slow roasted beef on here. We've got a team effort going here. Dan's going to do the veg on top. And the chief's going to cut up our sandwiches into threes for serving. me about memorable times. We just had a memorable time here. <laughs> JF is doing our oven stuff. We got one burnt, hard as a rock. <laughs> Good job, JF. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for a plate of sandwiches? Let's get over to the table. Well, thanks for having me here at Station 6, fellas. Let's get into it. Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see, see ya! ya. Thank you.